Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind, and let's analyze the digital distributor, I'm Musician. Now, we're going to be analyzing I'm Musician on four points. We're going to be looking at them from price to features to stores they get you into and to pay out. If you want to know more than that about our musician, you're going to have to get the guide to digital distribution ebook that I have that goes in detail about not just them, but all digital distributors. But for our musician and this video, we covering those four things and we're kind of like holding them up to the other uh, competitors that are out there, like the top tier, uh, TuneCore, CD Baby, DistroKid, things of that nature. This video is sponsored by Chartmetric, a music analytics tool artists can use to track their performance across all platforms, music and social, from Twitter and Instagram to Spotify and Apple Music. See which tracks are making an impact on TikTok. View the videos your music is being used in to gain a deeper understanding of how it's connecting with audiences. Analyze your music's playlist performance. Spy on your neighbors by digging into the data of your peers. See which radio stations are playing your style of music, which concert venues are booking. Get the data you need to supercharge your music career. To learn more about chart metric, click the link in the description box. Now, looking at our musician and starting it off with pricing, with pricing again, they're saying pay once, keep your music in stores forever. But they have these tiers and some of those cheaper tiers, it's like you have to pay a percentage of your revenue. So you're paying something to keep your music in stores. In order to keep your music in stores from the standpoint of their promise of paying once, you have to pay $30 per single, $60 per EP, or $90 per album. So that's $30 per single, $60 per EP, or $90 per album in order to keep your music in stores forever and keep 100% of the revenue you make. Now, when you get to features and you look at our musician from the point of features, this is where it gets a little bit sticky. Content ID. Content ID will cost you an additional dollar per release so it's an extra dollar per not per release per single which is worse so with content id it's a dollar per single so if you got a 10 song album that's ten dollars for every album that you drop for content id so that's a dollar in, in, in addition to the cost of the uh, actual release that you have to pay for content id now on top of that additional dollar that you have to pay for content id when it comes to your stats, like your analytics for Apple Music and Spotify and Pandora and things like that, the same stats that you get for free everywhere else, I'm a musician charges you $2 per month to access. So that's $2 per month to access your stats. And that makes out to about $24 per year to access your stats. And outside of that, there are no notable features that you don't have to pay additional for. So you have to pay $1 and a, 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 an additional dollar for content ID plus $2 per month for access to your stats. Then when you look at something like payout, payout is mainly about transaction fees and the amount of money that you get to save or spend or have to pay with transaction fees. And with our musician, they do not cap or eat the transaction fees. They pass 100% of them off to you, the artist. So PayPal, as an example, charges 2.9% plus 30 cent for every transaction. So if you're an artist that makes $100 a month, that means that you end up paying about $36 a year, $36 annually in transaction fees. So that's $36 annually in transaction and um transaction fees plus $24 annually for your stats, which makes out to about a $60 annual fee for our musician, which isn't exactly uh pay once, keep your music in stores forever. Now it seems that our musician is kind of more so targeting those artists that don't want to pay uh, annual fees and don't want to pay 
uh, per uh, release annual fees and don't want to pay a percentage of their revenue and they're targeting that group and saying, okay, well, here's an out. But they're not really giving you an out because they're kind of shortchanging you on what everybody else gives you, you know, and got you paying more on the back end. But in addition to that, I'm just not a fan of the model. So it's like when it comes to uh, I'm a musician and long term outcomes, I look at them and I'm like, OK, well, you got people paying once and not paying you a percentage of revenue and Things like stats you can work, get around with Spotify for artists and Apple Music for artists. It's a bit, you know, segregated because you got to go from one platform to another. But you can see your stats without paying our musician at two dollars a month. And content ID, some artists might not even feel like it's worth it, or they might go and use something like uh, Audium or something like that for content ID being at there charging them for it. So they could, people can find their ways around it. So you look at it and you say, is this model sustainable? Can this make them enough money to stick around? And I don't believe it can. I don't believe this model is sustainable of paying once and keeping music in stores forever because artists can load up on releases and they're paying you one time. You're paying them one time and they have to provide customer support and they have to provide storage and they have to provide uh, the financial uh, calculations and things of that nature, the uh, uh, payroll to some extent. Those things are things that they have to continuously provide. So those are constant costs. That's some stuff that they got to keep paying for over time. So you pay once and that's not going to cover the cost of whatever they got to do for you year after year for multiple years. So the more artists that gets on that system, the heavier it's going to be. And either A, they're going to have to change their pricing model and charge you more or charge you differently. Or B, they're going to have to shut down and they're going to get left out in the cold. So that's my assessment of I'm musician is that I don't feel like the model is sustainable and artists are more than likely probably going to uh, get things changed out from under them. Either the pricing or the platform itself will end up either getting acquired or getting shut down. Now, you can agree to disagree. You can share your experiences with I'm musician, you know, comment all of that good stuff. Like this video, share it with your friends. Uh, make sure you subscribe, click the, uh, the bell icon so you can get notified the next time we upload a video. Join the mailing list as well. Become a member so you can get information and news sent straight to your inbox. As always, y'all can hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. This is GIF signing off. PayUsNoMind. Peace, good people. One.